bro. What y'all doing here? Shit. It's a party. It's a party. It's a party. Okay. So guess what I'm here to do? Talk that shit like I usually do. I'm rather irritated right now, so please forgive me if I say some obnoxious, crazy type shit. Or don't forgive me. It really doesn't matter. You're not God. But what I want to talk about is this word thirsty. It's getting out of control. It's just out of hand. And this got to be like this. Oh, I have to talk about this shit. But before I do get into this, let me take a drink for the real thirsty, the truly thirsty people. Captain Jack Sparrow. Okay, but yeah, anyways, what you guys probably think I'm talking about is that there's too many thirsty people sprouting out of the earth and there's just too many people becoming desperate. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is there's too many people using the word thirsty and overusing it in the wrong ways. It needs to be stopped. I see this stuff on Facebook, I see it on Twitter, I see these screenshots, people screenshotting their conversation with somebody, they'll say, look at this thirsty ass person. So you, you click the picture or whatever, you see what it's about, it's like three texts that say, hey, how are you, what are you doing? There will be like one week in between each text, so I'm sitting here like, how the fuck does that make that person thirsty because they're trying to have a conversation with you? They text you once a week, once every three or four days, how is that making them thirsty? The only thing I'm getting from this is you're a fucking bitch that doesn't want to acknowledge them but you want to show everybody else how cool you are am I right you look rather thirsty by putting it on the internet for everybody to see because then you bring all the attention from everybody else and it looks like you want the attention like people you want them to be like she's the shit and then of course they're gonna respond to you like wow he was really thirsty I wouldn't be that thirsty with you hey can we do something later on tonight hey I promise I won't be thirsty hey like what I don't get is how showing a little interest or showing a little care for somebody automatically becomes thirsty now. Like how does that make them thirsty? Like maybe they just want to keep in touch with you. They're trying to be a friendly person. Have you ever thought that maybe they're a better person than you are and you're just caught up in this whole fucking thing in your mind like, yeah, I'm the shit. No. They're, they're just trying to be a human and you're caught up in this whole trend. Oh, thirsty motherfucker this, thirsty that, thirsty this, thirsty. Suck my dick, ho. Yeah. Wanna? Okay, some of you guys out there are probably like, oh, somebody must have called this nigga thirsty. And so he decided to rant about it on YouTube. <laughs> no. Guess who's wrong? Wrong, wrong. You are wrong, wrong, wrong. Guess who's wrong? Guess who's wrong? You're wrong! Well, no, alright? That's not the case at all. I just get really irritated with certain things and I must speak my mind on things. And maybe somebody doesn't really know how to speak up about this or say some shit about it and they keep being called thirsty and they're just a little sweetheart but they just keep getting mistaken for thirsty. Well, you know, this video's for you. Okay, what I consider thirsty is they're fucking at your side all the time. They always want to hang out with you. They want to see what you're doing so they can tag along. They see, they watch your Twitter and everything so they try to like, like be where you are. And that's fucking creepy, not thirsty, but you know what I mean? Like, they're texting you all the time. You don't respond. They text you 17 times a day, okay? They call you at night. Your phone vibrates, so it feels like you got a fucking water bed. Maybe they're at your door right now ringing your doorbell, and you can't even hear shit I'm saying right now. But on the other hand, if somebody's just texting you once a week, and they just want to hang out, and they're just trying to be your friend, or they maybe want to take you on a date, and you're just in your head like, I can't, I can't go on a date with this nigga because he's thirsty. He's not thirsty, that's all in your fucking head. You make people what you want them to be. That's all it is. Give them a chance of the, the eh. Yeah. Give them the light of day. What the fuck is the phrase? Give them the time of day and see how it turns out. You never know. You might be more thirsty than them. Shit, watch them make you fall in love. But hey guys, at the end of the day, if somebody's calling you thirsty, it doesn't matter. It's just their opinion. Who cares? You're gonna be just fine, champ. But if a bitch won't call me thirsty, it's a fucking rap! It's going down like Young Jock said. It's alright though, anybody can call me thirsty if they want to. That's just on them. Okay, whatever, it's alright. Cause I know my thoughts, I know my intentions, and at the end of the day, I know I get pussy. Ho! 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 I'm just kidding though, I'm just messing with you guys. I've never even held a girl's hand. Just learn. 
Learn what that shit means and use it correctly. Don't overuse it because people just overuse these words. YOLO, swag, ratchet. Everything gets overused. It just used in context that don't even make sense. Shit, I did my ratchet thing all the way down to the store. I was like, swag, swag, nigga, put it in the bag. Nigga, don't go fuck, nigga, YOLO. Stop it right now. I'm going to whoop your ass. Bum ass nigga.